All right, everybody, I am back with a brand new DC update. And we're going to let take a look at some of the few pictures that I've gathered over the last couple of days. I'm going to point out some interesting stuff. Uh, but before I show you what I have to show you, it is important to note that I will be going to see Godzilla minus one this afternoon. So look for my review as soon as I get back. I've had well several hundred people ask me, are you going to see this movie? We want to see your review. So all I ask is that you actually watch the review. You know, I'm a review channel, and the main reason I started my channel was to review movies and TV shows, and those things get the least views on my channel. And it's really important if my channel is going to grow that those actually get watched. So I appreciate it for those who watch those reviews. Please pass them on to other people and share it if you can. Uh, that's what I want to build the backbone of my channel on. I'm always going to cater to the DC group. Uh, that's obviously what I have a passion in, but my movies and TV show reviews are not going anywhere, and they're going to become more plentiful as time goes on. So I do appreciate the support on those. But let's look at some of these photos. This is interesting. First up here, this is a photo that I took last night, and things have changed. So trending in the U.S., the top 10 films in the U.S. today. Suicide Squad was number five. Suicide Squad has now moved up to the fourth spot. Black Adam is also in there. It's at number eight, and I think it's moved up a spot or two as well, which is very interesting. These are the movies that are trending. These are the movies that people want to see. And you know what's funny about this is these were the movies that were the most divisive movies, supposedly, in the DCEU. We know that David Ayer's Suicide Squad got butchered, and it would be amazing to see his version. And we all know Black Adam, was they, when they announced Henry Cavill was coming back, only to yank him away a month or so later. And so a lot of people didn't go to the movies to support that film. But these, these are the ones that are getting watched. And I can tell you, Black Adam was watched like crazy on HBO Max as well, and it sold a ton of copies on, on uh, physical media. And you know what didn't? James Gunn's Suicide Squad. So it's kind of cool to see these films getting their due, and I hope David Ayer gets his film released at some point in the future. Now this is pretty crazy. So it says it looks like the Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom toys are already on clearance. $3. This looks like I believe this is Walmart. And I have not been able I've not been able to make it out to my Walmart to confirm this, but I want I, you know anybody can photoshop stuff and I'm very curious has anybody been able to confirm this? That this movie hasn't even been released yet, and they're already trying to clearance out these toys to get rid of them. I might go up there to get some Mara, you know, because I think the Mara toys down the line are going to be worth a lot since all the controversy with her. But uh, I wouldn't be mind. I wouldn't mind picking up a few of the toys. Uh, but uh, if anybody has been in stores, I'd like to confirm that this is actually happening. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting that that stuff's already getting clearanced out. Now this is pretty cool. There was a promo released by HBO Max yesterday, and I highly encourage everybody to go watch this video, but it says a new promo for Max's 2024 content has revealed a fresh look at the Penguin, offering new footage for the first time in eight months. And the summary of that article says Max has released a fresh look at the Penguin series featuring new footage from the first time in eight months. The series follows Colin Farrell's reprisal of his role as Oswald Cobblepot and explores his rise to power in Gotham City's underworld. The promo offers a glimpse into what audiences can expect from the spin-off series set in the same universe as Robert Pattinson's Batman. I'm actually looking forward to this show. Uh, that promo was pretty cool. About It shows all the shows that Max is working on, and it'll be interesting to see which ones um, do well and which ones don't. So here's a picture of the guy playing, and I don't know how you say his name, but the guy who is playing Mr. Terrific in Superman Legacy. And you can see he has definitely bulked up because this, this guy was one skinny dude. Okay, he was a freaking twig. And it's nice to see that he is bulking up for his role. Uh, he, because, uh, you know, I didn't see him as Mr. Terrific, you know, based on the pictures I've seen of that character. And I don't know a lot about that character, but he just did not look the role. And it's nice to see that he is uh, getting in there to uh, get in shape for that, which is pretty cool. So this is a report that Zack Snyder expresses his sympathy after reports of Jason Momoa's Aquaman 2 being troubled with reshoots. States he knows how it, feel, how it feels like. 
Am I relieved? Well, I get anxiety just because I know what it feels like. It's too personal for me to feel anything like that. The movie's probably fine. I mean, I don't know. Who knows? So again, you know, there. This is unfortunate that that Aquaman two has been marred in all this controversy. Everything from the the girl playing Mara to the reports of the reshoots and the fact that Warner Brothers has changed it many times to having Ben Affleck yanked out of there as playing Batman, and then. You know, it's getting released on the same day as Zack Snyder's uh, Zack Snyder's Rebel Moon. And, and it's kind of sad that it has all this stuff going against it because the first film made a billion dollars. It was a great, it was a fun movie. And what's funny is there has been a second, well, a Chinese teaser, the final teaser for Aquaman that was released just two days ago. It's pretty freaking awesome. And it's too bad that they didn't didn't come out of the gate with that kind of a tone for the film. And it looks like it could end up being pretty good. I will be doing my review that night. I'm actually seeing it Thursday the 21st so that I was going to be able to get my review up on on the 22nd for Rebel Moon. But the good news is Rebel Moon announced it is also going to get released. And it's almost the exact same time I'll be getting out of the theater for Aquaman 2. So I'm going to get home. I'm going to get my Aquaman 2 uh, review up. And then I will be watching Rebel Moon and then be getting my Rebel Moon review up as well on the 21st so look at both of those to be dropping that night which is going to be uh, a fun day for me i will tell you that and here's that photo where it says rebel moon is coming a little earlier than you expected let the countdown begin to december 21st at 7 p.m pacific time Uh, that'll be 8 p.m my time and so as soon as i get done with aquaman and get that review up i will be watching rebel moon Now, this is something I just gathered on the internet. I think this is a really cool photo. It's Ben Affleck's Batman and a version of Robin there. Man, it's just too bad we never got this. Uh, There is so much that should have been explored and wasn't explored that we got hosed on. And it's a shame that, you know, as of right now, we're never going to see this stuff. It's just just too bad. It's just too bad. Now, this is something that Syl, you know, he put this up today, and I wanted to talk about this. It says... Production time is approaching for this film that's super important for Zaslav and his goal to reignite the live-action DC brand. Principal photography likely starting March 2024, primarily in Atlanta, Georgia. The working title for the film is Genesis, as the Old Testament begins with the words, In the beginning, James Gunn seems to really be embracing that mission from God statement from Zaslav. Yeah, this, and he should, because I don't know if he knows how important this film is. If this film bombs, it's over for DC for a very long time. And so they put all their eggs in one basket, and I don't think it's the right basket. And this is something that I wanted to talk about. This was being posted around Twitter today. And I wanted to bring up this point because there's a lot of people who have this incredible hate for Snyder, and it's completely unwarranted. They'll, they'll claim certain things when they're not true. And, and this is a fantastic point about his version of, of Superman. It says in Man of Steel before ever putting on the suit, Clark had been secretly saving people since he was a teenager. In Batman vs. Superman, he temporarily steps away after Congress blows up but comes right back. In the 1978 Donner film, he leaves the farm at 18, then spends 12 years in the Fortress of Solitude. He doesn't save anyone until he's 30. In the 1980 film Superman 2, he relinquishes his own powers and stops being a superhero so he could be in a relationship with Lois Lane. If critics and gatekeepers want to nitpick who portrayed the essence of Superman better, my vote is for Snyder. That's a very good point. These are the things. I don't understand how Gunn is getting a pass on all the characters he's putting in Superman Legacy yet. Batman versus Superman was jammed with too many characters. Batman wasn't, you know, portrayed right. Superman wasn't portrayed right. And there was a story arc that he was getting to, and by the end of Zack Snyder's Justice League, they had come back to the characters that they were always meant to be. Batman renews his, his, his faith in humanity, and Superman is the happy-go-lucky guy after his return from, you know, being dead, and that he was going to take advantage of that chance. And it's a shame we didn't get to see that stuff continued. And, you know, the studio just got in the way too much. It's just it's just crazy 
that we're not getting everything we should have gotten. All right, guys, so there is my update for the day. If there's any more breaking news, I will bring it to you guys later. But I am going to be seeing Godzilla Minus One and have that review up later. But I do appreciate all the support, and we will see you on the next video.